Well, hey everybody, the upgrade continues. Here I am with my Zenith 601 HDS Corvair. So um, last flight had a little bit of issues. I think that what had happened was is I lost a rocker arm, but that's what I get for keeping um, 1960s rocker arms in here. So I've got a brand new set of Elgin rocker arms coming in, and that's gonna make this thing perfect. So um, here we go, I'm actually, the plan is, panel's coming out, part of the engine's coming out. I'm actually gonna upgrade the heads. Let me show you what I'm doing there. So here we are on the cylinder head. So what I did initially was not the William Wynn recommended method, which is this. What I've done is, this is an exhaust flange off of a Volkswagen, and I've got it bolted to the head, and underneath here there's a paper gasket. So these are coming off. I'm sending the heads into William Wynn. He's gonna weld on the correct intake manifold. So that'll be changed on both sides, and it'll make the engine a heck of a lot better. So here we go, pulling this apart, then as I pointed out, doing a lot of work in there to upgrade the panel. So I'm not quite sure if this is progress or not, but here's where we stand. So I've got the canopy off, and I'm starting to pull out the instrument panel because this is where the new panel's going in. So notice I've got the canopy back there, but uh, yeah, we'll keep this moving and hopefully uh, make some progress by the end of the night. So hey everybody, it's been another day and uh, made some progress. So let me show you where we're at and um, getting closer to getting the new panel in. Then uh, basically got all the demo done. Now I get ready to get put the panel back in. So let me show you where we're at. So here we are, notice the entire panel has basically been removed. But I still gotta remove, let me kinda move around here. What I still have to remove is I've gotta get both the mixture and the throttle out. I'm gonna leave the transponder where it's at. I've uh, kind of planned it to kind of stay there. But once I get those two out, I can uh, get the new panel set in and uh, start mocking it up. Um, I've got everything pretty much ready and wired in, but yeah, that was a massive job. A lot bigger than I thought it was gonna be. So I'm backing around here. As you see, all the wiring has basically been removed. There's nothing left in here. Now, on the engine, last slide I mentioned to you guys that I had an issue, and what it was, see so if you can see it here, Let's see if you can, it's a little dark, but this guy right here, this is what happens when you have a stock GM rocker in place. It meant on the intake on cylinder number three. Yeah, cylinder number three. So. That one's good, all the other cylinders are good, so hopefully, well, plan is, is cylinders coming off. Once that's done, new cylinder, basically I'm gonna get the uh, upgrade done, and uh, this thing will be really, really nice when it's all done. So, getting close, getting ready to head home. Been a long night. So I hope you're enjoying this series of me upgrading the plane. If you have, like and follow along. And again, I'm also doing the Corvair engine build, and um, this weekend I should be picking up the new heads for that. So uh, stay tuned for another uh, Corvair engine video. So talk to you guys next time. See you later.